Hello everyone, today we are going to develop a hydrostatics problem related to gates. The problem says, the flow of water in a reservoir is controlled by an L-shaped gate with a width of 1.5 meters, articulated at point A. Here I have this gate in the shape of an inverted L and at point A is precisely the joint. If it is desired that the gate opens when the water has a height of 3.6 meters. Here is exactly that height, determine the mass of the required weight W. Then here I have a weight W that will keep this in balance. If this weight W did not exist, all this volume of water would push the gate, thereby emptying it. Then I have to find a force at a weight W that keeps it in balance so that at this height of 3.6 meters the gate is about to open. In this case what I have to do is propose summation of moments, for what reason? Because I have a joint. When I have a joint you know that I have to pose moments. For which we are going to do the following. That the sum of moments in this case has to be equal to zero, why? Because we are in equilibrium. What forces do we have here? The first force that we have is the force that is exerting. The weight on the gate and the second force is the one that the mass of water is exerting on the gate. We are going to put here FDH which is the hydrostatic force. They are the only two forces here we do not consider any reaction because precisely for 3.6 here it is about to open. That is, contact is neglected, so I only have two forces. Now to pose moments we know that it is force times distance. In this case V by 2.4. We are going to put here V by 2.4 it would have to be equal to that at this distance here that I do not know. We are going to call it a distance H1 multiplied by the force pH. Here it would be H1 by FH. Then to find this weight WI would have to First find H1 and I would have to find the hydrostatic force. We can calculate the hydrostatic force by theory because we know that the hydrostatic force is equal to the density times gravity times the area of the gate multiplied by HC. And this HC is the distance from the surface to the middle of the gate. What data do I know to calculate? This hydrostatic force, I know the density, which is the density of water. I also know the gravity. The area, as I know that this gate has a width of 1.5 meters and I also know that the depth is 3.6. Then I already have the area, remember that this area is the submerged area. I also know it and the HC would be half. That is, if this entire area is submerged, half is around here. This distance from here would be the HC and as all this is 3.6 the HC would be 1.8 then I know all this from here replacing let's put here that this would be 1000 by 9.81 multiplied by the submerged area which is 3.6 multiplied by the width of the gate which is 1.5 all that is the area multiplied by HC which is 1.8 meters. You know that it is half of 3.6. If you solve that you will obtain that the hydrostatic force is equal to 95. 353.2 N, that would be the hydrostatic force. With that I already have this value here, what do I need to calculate, the HU? And the H1 is the sum of two distances, what distances? The first distance is the distance from the surface to where the force is located. That distance is the IP, the distance to the center of pressure. Since the center of pressure is here, and also the sum of this small distance here. If all this measures 3.6 and also I have that the height, 
of the surface to the top of the gate is 4.5. This small distance would be 0.9 meters, so what is H1 going to? H1 will be equal to the sum of Yp plus 0.9 meters. If I manage to calculate the Yp, I replace it here in H1, since I already have the f of H. I automatically calculate the weight W. What is my objective? Calculate Yp. And how do I calculate Yp? To do this we use our well-known equation for hydrostatics in gates. We'll set it up next. Yp is equal to Yc plus density times gravity times sine of theta times moment of inertia in this case x divided by hydrostatic force very well what is yc in this case since the gate is in a vertical position yc is equal to the hc this is a topic of theory that you have to review in case you have forgotten it with which this comes to be equal to 1.8 meters. I already know this, also I can also write this in the following way. Let's put here that this comes to be 1.8 meters plus the density times the gravity sine of theta. What angle comes to be theta? Here is this angle that comes to be 90 O. Sine of 90, this is equal to 1, with which my equation is simplified more. It would be here the moment of inertia on the hydrostatic force. But the hydrostatic force is density, gravity. Area times the HC which comes to be 1.8, this goes with this, it is eliminated. With which I am left with 1.8 plus the moment of inertia. Now we are going to calculate it on the area. What is the area comes to be the submerged area that is? In contact with the water that in this case comes to be. 3.6 multiplied by the width which comes to be 1.5 and everything. This multiplied by 1.8 perfect. Now what is the moment of inertia? The moment of inertia in this case as it is a rectangular gate. The part that is submerged. This comes to be base times height cubed over 12. What is the base? The base comes to be the width which is. 1.5 multiplied by the height which comes to be 3.6 cubed and all this over 12. Replacing this value you are going to replace it here. You simply operate and operating you will obtain that the JP which is going to be equal to 2.4 meters. Having calculated that already having the YP that is what we are going to do next. What we are going to do is simply add, since h1 what is it going to be equal to? This is going to be equal to the yp which is 2.4 plus 0.9 this which is equal to 3.3 meters. This h1, what are we going to do? You are going to replace it here and replacing we are going to have the following that w is going to be equal to h1 which is 3.3 by the hydrostatic force that look we have calculated here that it is 95353.2 in all that over 2.4 how much does v give me it comes to 131 10.65 Newton. But they are asking me for the mass and you know, let's do it here with another color. That the weight is equal to the mass times gravity. If I already have that the mass is 13110. The only thing I do is divide it by gravity and with that I get the mass and how much is the mass. The mass is equal to a 13,365 kilogram and that would be the answer to the problem. It is important not to forget that when there is articulation you have to apply moment.
If you have any doubt or question about this problem please do so in the comments. Greetings to all.